Welcome to Speak On It with Who You With Kirk Dog. I'm Elm, Who You With Kirk Dog, with my co host, J Mo. Hey, Mo. What's happening? What's going on, man? Uh, as oh, you can yeah. see, uh, we're practicing social distancing. We're in two different locations. I'm in an undisclosed location. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and they talking about opening up the business. I got to. I gotta go to a private aisle and get somewhere. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so, so how is everything going, man? I know we've been talking on the phone and stuff, and uh, with things going on in the world, we both have some opinion on a couple of stories that we read up on. What's going right. on in your world? <laughs> man, everything is excellent, man. Uh, you know, just trying to practice safety in, in everyday lives. You know this. This new norm is, is is a big change for everybody, so just adjusting to it is, you know, it's kind of hectic at times. You know, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's, it's super boring, but we all need it. It's relaxing. I feel everyday you. life is, you know, everyday life is, is is hectic enough. So now that we have the time to do things that we need to do, I mean, it's a good thing. Reconnect, get to know yourself again. I feel you on that. How is uh, you and the wife hanging over there? She ain't, she ain't we are uh, excellent. Huh? <laughs> she ain't trying to uh, lock you out of, at the house and nothing, is she? Oh, of course not. This oh. time is time needed. This time is reconnecting. This time is strengthening the bond. But and you don't have you don't have a relationship with your friends. You know, friends first. Oh, yeah, most definitely. I know your wife personally. I tell her all the time, I thank God for it because if it wasn't from her, um, right. my wife and I never would have met. So uh, right. tell my girl, I That's said, what up? <laughs> yeah. I sure will. Yeah. So, um, so this week we've been hearing a lot of stories going on in the news. <clears throat> um, one of the stories that kind of stood out to me was opening up business um and i i feel they should they need to be open but i don't think we need a rush and open as long as those counts the numbers right of new cases keep going up we don't need a rush and open right and i said in the last show you wasn't with me but in the last show, I mentioned how uh, Terry County had the highest number of new cases, the third highest number of new cases uh, a couple of days ago. But last yesterday, they had the highest number combined out of all their cases was the highest yesterday. So the numbers to keep going up and that's it's going to continue to rise if people continue to not social distancing if they're not if they opening up business well you could go sit down and eat like in colleyville um, well that that's the thing that this this kind of confusing me right now we steady here here and the numbers are going up and you know cases are steady rising but everybody is so eager to open everything back up. And then, you know, we're hearing where they're saying that it's coming upon flu season and it might be a second wave. Well, I don't understand if this is a concern. Why is everybody so eager to open everything back up? Exactly. Um, looking at either, the Either the information he's giving us is wrong or everybody just don't care. I don't. I don't understand it. My personal opinion, I think, is kind of a little both of them. But right. um, we have leaders, uh, particularly President Trump. He's making comments about taking Lysol. Maybe that'll kill it inside your body. But then he had to come back and say, "Oh, I was just playing about it." I, I just wanted to see how the media was going to react on it. See, stuff what? like that, we don't, this is not a game. 
This right. is nothing to play with. This is not the time to play dealing with this very serious virus. Um, like, for instance, like, for instance, like I mentioned earlier, the restaurant up in uh, Cl- uh, Colleyville, which is in Tarrant County, uh, people sitting all out and eating at a, a restaurant. I'm not going to name the restaurant because I'm not supporting them. Um, but eating at a restaurant. Um, and I'm looking at the do- at the news. On one station, they show one thing. And they have people sitting out there eating. Uh, you have the server who have masks and gloves on. But you have people sitting there eating with no gloves on and they touching the table, touching their phones. Um, they're eating, they touching their glasses, the server come up, grab the glasses, refill them, whatever. And my whole thing is, what you doing all of this, are you changing no gloves every time? Every time, you, every time you serve a table, uh, touch something on the table, are you changing no gloves? Are you washing your hands? What are you doing? Probably not. I, I think it's not either, and I feel like what's going to happen eventually, we're going to see those numbers increase a lot more. Now, that was on one station, but this morning I'm looking on another station, and they were showing the real thing on how people was was basically shoulder to shoulder at these particular location in Colleyville, not wearing masks, not wearing gloves, but the other one sugarcoated only showed a couple of people sitting at the tables and all of this. But the other news, they showed the real thing. Look how crowded it well, is. Well, yesterday, as you know, I had to, I had an errand to run, and so on my way back, I actually seen a restaurant, and the patio area was was pretty full. I didn't I didn't see any uh, social distancing taking place at all, and it kind of threw me off because when I looked over, I, I, I'm not going to say the name of the restaurant, but I was kind of surprised to see that restaurant in that area. Yeah. Yeah. And when I looked over and I saw it, it, it I, was, I was taken aback because it looked like a regular, like Friday you know, Friday evening, kick it, happy hour hey, type hour. You know, it, it, it threw me off. I was, I was, I was surprised. Yeah, that I was. That's nerve wracking when you see stuff like that, and and you hear the governor saying, uh, "You're not open, uh, not to do this," and it's kind of like they're saying, "Hey, money is more important than lives." Right. Well, I seen that article this morning of the young lady in Dallas opening her salon and she got citations for it. And she said she didn't care. She's going to stay open. Exactly. Uh, she received um, uh, a letter from Clay Jenkins telling her to uh, shut her business down, shut it down. And it's to the point now she says she's going to open up again today. Well, she could face the rest and also, she could end up losing her business license. So, is that right. worth it to make a point to get to get your five minutes of fame on TV? Because that's all gonna happen. I guess people are desperate at this point. I, I, I understand. I, I understand. Yeah. People need to make money. We definitely do. We I need can see to see her fear. You know, uh, as far as not knowing when the next next money's coming from, I can understand that. But does it cost your life? Does it cost other people's life? Does it cost your health, your safety? Is, is that a risk that you're willing to take? That's going to be very interesting in, in the next couple of weeks um, to see if the numbers are still increasing now. It's going to be very interesting in the next couple of weeks to see how much more it have increased. Um, right. Because it's, it's, it's shocking how you see Tarrant County, who is the neighboring 
County up Dallas County, um, their numbers continue to go up. And now that they are opening up more testing sites, the number's going to continue to increase. Right. And not only that, you it, it's crazy. Uh, Colleyville also <laughs> talking about opening up um, uh, massage parlors, nail tests, uh, nail salons. Um, what else did they say? I want to say they said the bowling alley. You know, that's crazy. I, I agree with certain businesses opening back up to a certain extent, but stuff like that, to me, that's not essential. Exactly. You know, grooming, uh, you can do that yourself. That, that's just, I mean, I bought some clippers, looked at YouTube and learned how to cut my own hair. Not that I have a lot, but still, it, that stuff like that, that's, that's something that you can do for yourself. That that shouldn't be a health risk to our communities. Well, you know, um, basically, what what unhappened is, I remember growing up as a child, we would go and um, uh, go to the little convenience store, see some little clippers in there, five ninety nine, ten ninety nine, whatever. We used to buy those clippers. And we would get home, uh, we'll put a bowl on our head. And uh <laughs> and and and, and, and bowl. exactly. We'll put a bowl on our head and cut our hair. But see, right. I bought clippers maybe mm, ten or fifteen years ago because I've been wearing a bald head since Shaz went out. So <laughs> um so I I I bought some clippers, and since I bought some, it's like, hey, I go out every once in a while. Like, if I have a special event coming up, I need my beard trim tight right. and all of that. I'll go to a local barber, uh, probably my brother. Shout out to see the barber over in uh, Mesquite. Um, I'll go to him sometime and, and let him go ahead and and trim me up the right way. Have my little mustache trim, my beard trim, <laughs> and go ahead and get my hair cut too. But see, it's me going to the barbershop every week. I'm spending 25 to $40 a week. Sure. That's a lot of money. So I said, well, you know what? Hey, I, I cut my own hair, but if I need to get my beard trim, I go there. So, um, so definitely, I understand the fact we definitely need to make money. Uh, the barbers, the beautician, they definitely need to do it. Uh, Life Instant, also in Dallas, um, the Galleria. Ooh, I shouldn't have said that uh, mall, but oh well. The, the mall up there, they have right. certain stores open up. And they open up to um, uh, for curbside pickup. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm listening to them on that one particular news station. They talking about curbside pickup, and all of these stores they naming are hot dollar stores. Right. And I'm like, okay, my wife was like. They need a blender in a in an espresso machine. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, hey, um, got to get it while it's cheap. <laughs> it may not. Well, look at the location they're getting it from. Right. High end, high end mall, and then well, the high the, end stores. Those, those are spots that had the best deals, though. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they do. Uh, now, I. I don't know what type of deals they running. I haven't looked on their website because right. it's it's too far for me to be driving going to get anything and I have enough right. stuff in my undisclosed location. Uh, <laughs> matter of fact, you see that behind me? Uh yeah. I, I think we going skinny dip it later on, so uh <laughs> that 
That might that's my wife. We the only two at this location. Okay. We okay. the only two. Uh, okay. We packed up and said, "Let's go." You always have to have a secret location to go to. Right, now, right. now we might come back uh, over the weekend, but we just needed to get away at an undisclosed location on a private island. We're the only two here, so if somebody else is here, it's a problem. Uh, right. But no, but it's um, uh, also while you're listening to this. Um, Please subscribe to the channel. Speak on it with Who You With, Kirk Dog on YouTube, Facebook. Uh, follow us, like us, share it. Um, but we wanted to come on here today just to talk a couple of minutes. Uh, tell some of our concerns. Um, if you have questions, as you can see, our email is at the bottom. Um, we're going to have it where we can chat live with you. Um, Definitely, we want to know your opinion and everything, so definitely subscribe to the channel, Facebook, YouTube, and also um, follow us on all social media. Um, right. But also, any other stories caught your eye this week? No, that's about it that uh, I can think of. Well, I received a video yesterday uh, right. from from uh, my sister in Georgia. And I was like, okay, someone sent it to her, she sent it to me. And uh, the lady was doing a, I guess a Facebook Live or whatever, showing a, a 18 wheeler, um, shout out to the truck drivers that have to be out there away from your family, uh, showing an 18 wheeler that was actually um, carrying some FEMA body bags. When I first mm. looked at the video, I had to look at it and I was like, mm, I can't tell what that is. Really didn't know. Well, I guess a couple of years ago, I don't know exactly when somebody did a documentary on um, on FEMA body bags. So when they did that, they also included that video on there. And when they included that video on there, then I was like, okay, those are FEMA body bags. Now I see exactly what they're saying. So this woman, she was driving down, I believe she said 285 or something like that in, in Georgia. And uh, she was live videotaping, which I never recommend anyone going live while driving. Um, <clears throat> but... Um, and she was videotaping at the truck to pull up on the side of her and she was showing all the body bags. But when I started looking at it, um, it actually talked about at the uh, documentary she sent with it, it talked about where these are basically grave liners, but they're also FEMA body bags that can hold up to four bodies in this bag at one time and have a lid on it like a coffin but you can put at least four people in there um when i look at that and think about it first thing come to mind is yeah i know new york is 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 got hit real hard um with everything that is going on a lot of cities have been hit hard but i also think about it's more to it than what they're telling us and what they're trying to push open some of these business. It kind of makes you think, are they expecting for a lot of people to die from this? Because still, there's yeah, still no cure. Yeah. There's still no yeah. cure for it. So it just kind of makes you wonder what exactly are they preparing for? Yeah, you want to prepare for the worst, but at the same time, just thinking on the outside looking, if you're trying to push all these businesses over, now if the numbers was declining all the way across the board, I'm like, cool. Yeah, let's start right. working slowly to get the business open. But when you have certain counties, right. the numbers are still going up. That's a problem. 
Right. That's true. And and then you also have um um I wanna say it's Wichita Falls, uh Wichita, Texas out out west. Um I want to say they talking about opening everything back up because and because what the mayor said it didn't affect us that much so he's talking right. about opening uh more business up and stuff like that it don't take much to um to cause the numbers to go up now i will shout out uh, I've, what is the mayor of uh, New York, Kumo. Uh, he, know. Yeah, he's looking at it like this, the reality of it. And I seen on the news this morning where he said, yeah, the numbers may be going going down, but don't, don't be surprised. When you put your guard down and start opening everything back up, that number is going to shoot back up real high. So we need to Real. need to be uh, cautious about how we do it and open it up slowly. Don't rush and get this done. <clears throat> I agree. So, but other than that, we're going to try to uh, do what we have to do. Like I said in the last video, uh, I did play my wife in this pack, man. Let's, <laughs> let's just say... I didn't have to wash dishes that night. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to just leave it at that. I didn't have to wash dishes. And uh, she was right. talking about her yeah. high score and all of that. And so, when I started playing, I beat her high score, double her high score on my first man. Right. So, and she like, oh, you good. Yeah. You good. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. Got to realize growing up, at 7-Eleven when they had Miss Pac-Man and uh, Centipede and all of that. Hey, uh, I, was was the champ. I was the champ. At it, you know? <laughs> I'm a little rusty, but I'm getting back to the game. Unfortunately, we couldn't right. bring our game here, so I may have to come back home just to play it again. So, um, you... But one thing... <laughs> Like I was telling the people the other day, Jay, um, we're gonna uh, we have a lot of good shows coming up. Um, dealing with mental health, we're gonna have counselors come on for that. Uh, dealing with abuse, uh, child abuse, spouse abuse, because the numbers have gone up uh, with mental health. Right. Every day, we hear about killing going on. Not only just in Dallas, um, you mentioned to me earlier, Jay, about a statistic out of uh, Miami, I believe you said. Right. They said uh, the murder rate has gone down. What? What? Let me say, let me rephrase that. They said there hasn't been a murder in the last several weeks in Miami since 1957. Mm. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. So, so apparently, yeah, it's a whole. It, it seemed like to me Miami is trying to social distance, staying in the house, and all of that. Um, I will say also, uh, with everything that's going on in the world, please, we know Mother's Day finna come up soon. Still protect yourself. Call mom on the phone. I know Facebook starting this uh, new group thing that you can have up to 50 people on it at one time. Uh, wow. I'm, I'm saying that to encourage people instead of going to visit loved ones, FaceTime them, have a group meeting. It's a group messenger or something. I just heard about it right before we came on uh, where you can have up Use to 50 technology. people. Huh. I said, use your technology. Yeah. Uh, instead of going to visit folks. Um, so definitely uh, take a look at it. Uh, instead of going to visit mom, grandma, putting them at risk, because we only get one. 
Um, and I definitely want to um, reach out to them. Also, if you are a small business, if you agree with the uh, opening up the business, or if you agree not opening up the business, we want to hear from you. We would like to invite you on the show and talk about it. You can email us at who you with Kurt Dog at G at I'm sorry, who you with Kurt Dog at mail.com. It's at the bottom of the stream, just like it's spelled on there. Uh, it's send an email. Let's do this. Um, let's have a discussion about it. Uh, we can bring you on the platform. You can be here with us, discuss it, tell us why you feel that you should and why you shouldn't. Um, before we go, um, have anything else you want to add, J-Mo? No, just everybody be smart. Don't don't be fearful or anything. Just be smart. Keep yourself safe. Keep your family safe. And use use the the tactics and techniques that's, that's been given to keep everybody safe, to keep yourself safe. Let's just let's just be cautious and loving and keep everybody in consideration. That's where I put. Um as for me and my wife, like I said, we're at an undisclosed location right now, but I think we're gonna come back home because we couldn't we couldn't bring the the machine the game with us. So uh, right. So I think I'm gonna come back home for we could play Miss Patney and let her redeem herself a little bit. Uh, <laughs> we just all gonna, right gonna be out on, out here on this island by herself and chill. Um, I think we're gonna eat some fresh, fresh uh, fish in a little bit. You know, go out there and catch some, right. grill them, do whatever we gotta do. But <laughs> it, once again, please subscribe to the channel. I know we laugh and having fun and stuff, but this coronavirus is very serious. It will take you out. Think about the precautions. The think about the. The, the steps before you take them. I agree. We do need to get back to work. I agree with everyone on that. But at what cost? Are you good, Are right. you willing to lose your life, lose your family life, to go out here to get back to work and then turn around and bring it back home and kill your entire family? And then at that point... Right. It, it wasn't worth it because you're not here to uh, to enjoy the sacrifice you you made. So right. think about it. I think we shouldn't do it. That's my personal opinion. I think we shouldn't do it. But hey, next week uh, on our next show, hopefully we have some uh, business that have have their own opinion about it. Definitely reach out to us. Uh, who you with Kurt Dog at mail dot com. Send an email. I will respond. If you want to be on the show, talk about this coronavirus. Um, also, if you have a show topic, if you have something that you want us to speak on, send an email. Send an email for we can uh, talk about it. Whatever it is you want to talk about. Yes, we have shows coming up on mental illness. Um, uh, child abuse, spousal abuse. We're going to have counselors on. We're going to have shows about um, uh, dealing with sexuality. Uh, now, sexuality is a broad range. Um, so, it's a lot of good shows we have coming forward. Uh, hopefully, you'll be a part of it. And if you have something you want us to talk about, let's, let's communicate. Let's do it. Um, Right. Uh, other than that, subscribe to the channel, share whatever you like to do. Uh, enjoy your Saturday. Uh, enjoy your family and spend time together. Whatever you have to do, but be safe with it. If you're going out be shopping, safe. wear a mask, uh, gloves, uh, whatever you have to do to protect yourself. Wash your hand constantly. And other than that, until next time. All right. We'll see you. We will talk to you. We love you. We're praying for you. Um, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. 
We enjoyed it. Until then, we're out. Peace. All right. Peace.